Hey everybody and welcome to episode 321 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, December 14th, 2016. Ricky, you had a successful weekend at the Toronto Fan Days Comic Convention. Yes. Do you have any shout-outs you'd like to give? I know you like to give shout-outs after a show. Oh, man, shout-outs to that. So many people, right? Yeah. yeah. It's a smaller show, so it wasn't like a lot of people. Right. Uh, but there was some repeat customers, which is exciting. One girl came, she's like, I came specifically to see if you guys had new stuff. And I was like, whoa, sweet. That's good, though, man. Lots of people uh, bought the book. Lots of people were interested in it. Makes a really good uh, gift for the the fam. That's what I thought. Over yeah. the holidays, that's good. Uh, speaking of good good gifts for the fam over the holidays, uh, we've got a sale going on here at Stadium this coming weekend. It's the last weekend, Ricky, uh, coming up before Christmas Eve. Christmas Seriously? Eve is next is a week oh, this man. Saturday. Oh my god! Have you done your Christmas shopping? I have not. Oh man, you gotta oh, get on that. Geez. And what better place, Ricky, to get on that yeah. than right here at Stadium yeah, Comics? I'm sure my mom wants to come. <laughs> she does, man. She, you know, she doesn't know it yet, but she does. Uh, we're going to have a really good sale here on Saturday. Stay tuned for details. I don't have uh, any of them for you yet. The sales are so secret, we, uh, we don't have any information for you about it yet. But know that it is coming. We're going to have some special guests here on Saturday that will be able to uh, sketch and uh, just, you know, entertain in general. Uh, and you, you'll find out a little bit more about those people uh, later in this episode because we have those special guests coming to be a part of this unboxing. But anyway, Ricky, we've gone on long enough. Let's go ahead and open up some boxes. All right, while Ricky's uh, putting away all the, all the comics and unboxing everything, our special guests uh, that are gonna be here on Saturday have arrived, so I'll bring them in. Uh, please welcome George Todorovsky and Renee Vrains from The Bear Stories. Uh, come on in, guys. If hey, you, Kevin. Hey, George. Hey, come hey. on in, Renee. For you guys who don't know, The Bear Stories is an awesome, awesome book. It's hilarious. It stars this cute, cuddly bear uh, who is uh, anything but cute and cuddly. Uh, you know, in his actions, apparently, you know, I, I, I mean, quite honestly, he's, he's very, uh, you know, he's a violent guy, he's got a bit of a bad temper, uh, he's rude, he's rude, right? Um, in fact, if you, if you were to walk by uh, George and Renee at a convention, you might hear George, uh, in his pitch for the book, say something like, Are you easily offended? And, uh, you know, if you are easily offended, you want to stay away from the bear stories, definitely. <laughs> uh, but if you're not, and you can take a joke, and you like uh, uh, some crude humor, The Bear Stories is definitely for you. You can check out their work at thebearstories.com. And George also has another uh, book that he's just finished. It's actually called The Book, and this is volume one of it right here. And George, uh, why, don't you, why don't you step up here and uh, just tell people a little bit about the book and what they can expect from it. Sure, sure. This is actually, um, it's an anthology. It's uh, basically a book of short stories that I did, but what's uh, very cool about it is that I've created a different art style for every story that's in the book. So, uh, yes, yeah, so it's like something like 16 different styles. Yeah. So 16 different stories <laughs> all packed into something this like book here. Um, you, can, uh, you can get uh, physical copies of the book here at Stadium. You can even come and see George and Renee on Saturday and get your copy signed. Uh, or if you are unable to get a physical, physical copy of George's book, you can uh, get it through Google Play. And uh, there's a little scan code here that we'll, we'll actually get Ricky to, to throw up the graphic for that. And uh, you can download your, your copy of it there. And, and actually, if you download it, it's significantly cheaper than the physical copy too. So there's, there's that. But you know, it's always nice to have the physical copy in your hands if you can get it. Uh, so guys, it's great to have you here. It's going to be great to have you here on Saturday. Fun bit of trivia for you. George and Renee uh, have been supporting Stadium Comics ever since our first event here at the store in uh, 2008, our free comic book day in 2008. That's right. When uh, Rob and myself first took over Stadium Comics, these guys were, were here as uh, the first uh, you know, official 
uh, comic book guests and we're happy to have them here uh, anytime uh, that they're available and uh, you know there's going to be a lot of uh, great things that George will have uh, available for uh, along with the Bear Stories book and his book uh, and it's also a great opportunity to get some original art uh, so guys thanks a lot uh, if you're able to stick around and, and help out stick around and help out uh, and yeah we'll get to the comics also, uh, we're going to do an extra little special thing this episode. George has graciously donated this print of the cover that he did to Ricky's uh, Black Hole Hunters Club issue number six. And George is going to sign this and we're going to give it away. So more information on that when Ricky uh, covers off the question of the week uh, after the comics. All right, first up today we got some collectibles. Here are the DC Superheroes vinyl figures. Uh, we've got some interesting ones in this set. Why don't we go ahead and open one up? Which one? Ricky this always one? chooses the worst ones. Yo, I got that uh, special one before. Oh, the, spe oh, the Catwoman. Yeah. That's right. Who'd you get? Catwoman. Nice. Alright, so this is, uh, you can either, I guess, you can either get a character or you can get a pet in this set. I want the Crypto. So if any of you guys out there get the Crypto, you can mail it to Stadium Comics. We've got some pops to show you today. Here is a Batgirl pop. And here is a Robin and Batman animated series pop. And then we have Ken from Street Fighter. All right, we've got My Little Pony Friends Forever issue 35. From Chapter House Comics, we've got Die Kitty Die issue number three. Street Fighter Unlimited Annual number one. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Pink issue number five of six. Here's the Steven Universe 2016 special. Ninja Turtles gets all festive for cover A of issue number 65. And here is the Kevin Eastman Christmas variant. And then we also have this retail incentive variant. Here's Rockstar's issue number one, a new one from Image Comics. Black Eyed Kids number nine from Aftershock. Here's Spawn number 268. From Black Mask, we have Young Terrorists. This is issue number two. We've also got some reprints of Reborn. This is a third printing of Reborn, issue number one, and a second printing of Reborn, issue number two. So if you've missed out on Reborn, now is your chance to get caught up because issue three is also hitting shelves today. This is brand new uh, on shelves. This is from Mark Millar and Greg Capullo. There's a couple different covers. And here's a couple of the other different covers available. There's a new Transformers series launching today. It is Lost Light, issue number one. Here's a couple of the variants, uh, a blank cover as well for a custom sketch or, or something like that. And here's a, another variant. And here is the Retailer and Senna variant. And we also have Optimus Prime, number one, new on shelves today. This is the regular cover. Here's a couple of the variants. And the blank variant cover. And this is the Retailer variant. All right, in the uh, no-brainer pickup of the week category, when you go into your local comic shop uh, today, make sure you pick up a copy of Red Sonja, issue number zero from Dynamite Comics. It's only 25 cents, uh, US price, of course. Only 25 cents, but uh, how can you not uh, put down a quarter just to uh, try out a new story? And it's Red Sonja. Uh, written by Amy Chu as well, who's a fantastic writer, uh, so well worth your uh, time and money. Pick this up today at your local shop. There's also some great variants available for Red Sonja, and here is one of them. Okay, moving on to DC Comics, we've got a second printing of Superman issue number 10. Here's Batgirl and the Birds of Prey issue number 5, regular and variant. Action Comics number 969, regular and variant cover. And here's Supergirl, issue number four, regular and variant cover. Deathstroke, issue number eight. And here's Superwoman, issue number five. Wonder Woman, issue number 12. Here's the regular cover and the variant. New Superman, number six. Here's Detective Comics, number 946. Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, issue number 10. Red Hood and the Outlaws, number five. The Flash, number 12, regular and variant cover. Here's Raven, issue number two of six. Suicide Squad number eight is a uh, Justice League versus Suicide Squad prelude. It's an awesome cover here by Jim Lee. Here's the variant cover. And it's time again for another DC Comics holiday special. $9.99 US price. 
uh, probably be about 12 bucks Canadian in and around there. Um, but yeah, they put this out uh, once a year and uh, it's an anthology of different holiday themed DC comic stories. Uh, so a great uh, present for uh, for people out there, or a great stocking stuffer as well. Uh, as long as you don't like bend it up to get it into the stocking. Get one of those like big stockings where you can easily put the, uh, the book inside. Also got in some new Batman collected uh, versions today. Volume 10 is now available in hardcover. This takes you right to the end of uh, Batman with Batman uh, Endgame being the storyline. Uh, this is the pre-rebirth stuff. And then we also have Volume 9 of Batman in softcover. Okay, moving on to Marvel, we've got Daredevil, issue number 14. Silk, issue 15. Totally Awesome Hulk, number 13. Co-starring Lin Sanity himself, Jeremy Lin. Star Wars, Poe Dameron, number 9. All New X-Men, number 16. Spider-Man, issue 10, this is the regular cover and the variant. Jessica Jones, issue 3, regular cover here, as well as the variant. Here is the Uncanny Avengers number 17. Doctor Strange, The Punisher, Magic Bullets. This is issue number one. Awesome cover here by our pal Michael Walsh. And here's the variant cover for that book. Guardians of the Galaxy number 15 is the start of the Grounded storyline. And here is Hawkeye issue number one. We've got some variants for Guardians of the Galaxy. Here is one of them. This is the animation variant. This one's called the Best Bendis Moments variant. And the moment uh, captured here is when Star-Lord became king. Hawkeye number one. This is a new Hawkeye series starring Kate Bishop as Hawkeye. Here is the variant for that book. Here's Mosaic issue number three. Deadpool back in black number five. Power Man and Iron Fist number 11. Old Man Logan number 15. Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, issue number two. Not to be outdone by DC, Marvel's also got a holiday comic release today. It is Gwenpool, holiday special Merry Mix-Up. It's a one-shot, and it's full of Gwenpool-y goodness, and there are two different covers for it. So check that out today at your local shop. And we've also got uh, today from Marvel, Inhumans vs. X-Men, number one. An epic battle to be sure. This uh, is the uh, official start of the Inhumans vs. X-Men series. Yes, there was that issue zero a couple weeks ago, um, but uh, issue number one is where it all really begins, and you can tell it's where it all really begins because the cover's nice and shiny, and it's got a very thick cover stock, uh, so it must be important. This is the regular cover. Here is an Old Man Logan variant. A Black Bolt variant and a very good Michael Cho variant which is uh, awesome to see Michael Cho getting more work with Marvel he was doing those awesome uh, Civil War propaganda style posters uh, for Civil War 2 and now it looks like he's doing a series of variants for Inhumans vs. X-Men. Alright guys prize time last week I asked you uh, what you think the Baby Groot storyline will be in the inevitable comic that comes out got some pretty awesome answers. Uh, Mr. Best Ever 100 said the Baby Groot comic would follow Rocket Raccoon trying to teach Baby Groot how to say something other than I am Groot. Good luck. I, I feel like his vocal cords are just made to say I am Groot. I don't know if he could change. Anthony Guia said Baby Groot's solo comic will be about living on Earth and finding a five-year-old girl in need. Maybe lost her parents at a mall or something. The two will then become best friends as they both go through growing pains and misadventures with a few cameos from other Marvel heroes thrown in. Baby Groot will be like her pet tree, but it will also be her guardian. And perhaps love will bloom later and they'll realize that they loved each other all along. Beautiful. And he will plant his seed now. <laughs> Uh, Matt Murdock said, in typical Marvel fashion, Baby Groot will ship with 20 plus variant covers, with one being a dead Groot variant, which will lead into a second Groot related number one with 20 plus variants. As for the story, what do you do with a plant that only says his name? Who cares? They got 20 covers. Doesn't even matter. Uh, GamerPat27 has come back with his Dabasaurus. Uh, Baby Groot takes down the villain Dabasaurus. I really would like to know what a Dabasaurus is. I mean, his arms that aren't aren't even long enough to like dab you know it doesn't make any sense the truth factor had this to say about me before going into it he said he realized that uh leonard from the big bang theory 
is like me. I've never seen the show. I'm surprised it's still going on, but I hear he's got a pretty sweet girlfriend. So you know what? I'll take it. But then he goes on to say uh, the Baby Groot storyline will be about Groot one day roaming around the Milano while his companions are out on a mission. He will somehow find a way out of the Milano and in doing so get kidnapped by the Collector for being the only living tree organism to talk. The Guardians will eventually get back on their ship and soon realize that Groot isn't there. Rocket will have a panic attack and they will set out in search of him. Seeing the uh, Baby Groot character with the Collector I think would make for a solid comic. Um, it, re it really ties in with the movie, so you can't go wrong. Marvel is probably the most likely one that Marvel did. But the winner goes to Ken Ives, who said Baby Groot's mom wants him to be a star. So she takes him to auditions, he tries out for parts of Muppet Babies, the Flintstone Kids, and Baby Looney Tunes. Unfortunately, he doesn't get any callbacks because of his limited vocabulary. I think that would be hilarious, and especially if they did it like in a reality TV style format, it'd be hilarious. And I think Mama Groot and Baby Groot have a future at Marvel Comics. So congratulations, Ken Ives, you'll be entered into the draw at the end of the month. I'd also like to point out that we still have this lovely Black O'Hunters Club print. We'll be adding it into the winner at the end of the month. Ooh, look at that. So, so you'll definitely want to enter into these contests and you'll definitely want to bribe me to win at the end of the month. So, pretty sweet. It's even signed and everything. But for this week's question, I want to ask you, I need some help on stocking stuffers. I got some nerdy friends. I mean, there's Kevin. I guess he'll get something. There's Rob. There's, you know, there's, there's everybody in the store. I need some stuff to stock their stuffings. So what do you recommend as great nerdy stocking stuffers. Let's keep it under like 20 bucks. I'm not gonna go crazy here. So uh, your best Christmas suggestions and the winner will be entered into the draw coming up at the end of the month. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Please remember to uh, connect with us on any of the websites you see listed here on the screen. If you're in the Toronto area and have the opportunity to come by to our sale and signing event on Saturday, please do come by. It'd be great to see you. Ricky's gonna be here. He doesn't know it yet he's gonna be here and um, yeah I hope you guys are all uh, enjoying your holiday shopping leading up to Christmas we'll see you guys all next time uh, in the last episode before Christmas episode 322 take care everybody and enjoy your comics this week